Today I'm going to show you how to make these amazing jalapeno poppers stuffed with cheese and bacon. These are the ingredients that you need. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is cook up some bacon. I've got my cast iron skillet here over medium high heat. I'm just going to cut up about four or five slices of bacon into that. I find using a pair of scissors for this is the easiest for me. And once I get all my bacon in there, I'm going to give it a stir. Once my bacon is nice and crispy, I'm going to go ahead and use a spoon and get that out and put it onto a paper towel to drain completely. Now for my filling, I'm going to put my softened cream cheese into a medium bowl there. I'm going to add in between a quarter of a cup and a third of a cup of shredded Kojak cheese. You could use Monterey Jack, you could use cheddar, you could use whatever kind of cheese that you like, or you could just leave the cheese out altogether and just use cream cheese. Next, I'm going to take my cooled bacon and I'm going to crumble this into pieces right in my bowl. And using a spoon, I'm just going to mix this together until it is well combined. And once it's all mixed together, it should look something like that. And now we can start prepping our jalapeno peppers. I've got eight large jalapeno peppers here. Uh, the peppers at my local store were quite large, so I ended up only needing about six for the amount of filling that I did. If you have regular sized jalapenos, eight should be sufficient. To get my peppers ready, I'm just going to take one of them and using a knife, slice it right down the middle. You'll notice that I'm wearing a glove for this. My hand is kind of sensitive to the oils and the pepper, and also I find it kind of difficult to wash the oils from the pepper off of my hands. And using a spoon, I'm just going to scrape out the seeds and the ribs of inside the pepper. I find using a spoon to be the easiest. And you'll notice that I left the stems on the jalapenos. You can take them off if you want to. I like to leave them on just because it kind of helps the filling stay inside the pepper. I also kind of like the way it looks. And you want to go through and get all of your peppers ready. And once all my peppers have been seeded and veined, I'm just going to take about a tablespoon of filling or so. It's really just by judgment. There's no exact measurement here. It depends on how big your peppers are. I'm just going to spread that onto the inside of the pepper. And using my thumb, I'm just going to kind of press that in and make sure that there's no air pockets in there. And you want your filling to be mounted up just a little bit over the top. It'll give a nicer appearance once they're breaded and fried. You don't want to put too much filling in there because it'll end up oozing out on you. And you want to keep going until all of your peppers are stuffed. Now for the breading, I've got one bowl here with just regular white all-purpose flour in it. In a second bowl, I'm going to crack in an egg. I'm going to add in a tablespoon or two of milk and using a fork, I'm just going to whisk this together. And also in a third bowl, I put in some plain dry breadcrumbs. Now to bread these, you want to take one of your peppers and you want to do these one at a time. You want to put that into the egg wash and make sure that it is completely coated in that egg mixture. And then you want to dunk it into the flour and make sure it gets a nice coating of flour on there. Shake off the excess and put that back into your egg wash and then right into your breadcrumbs. Now you want to be sure and use one hand for your wet ingredients and one for your dry so that way you don't end up getting breaded claws on your fingers. And you want to go through and bread all of your jalapeno poppers like this. Set them onto a plate and let them dry for about 10 minutes. After about 10 minutes, I'm going to bread these again a second time to make sure that it gets a nice thick coating of breadcrumbs on it. I'm going to put that into the egg mixture one more time and then again into the breadcrumbs. Make sure you get breadcrumbs all over that popper and again set this off to the side and finish breading the rest of your poppers. And once all your poppers are breaded, you can go ahead and get the oil ready. I'm just going to put some vegetable oil into my cast iron skillet here. You can use whatever pan that you have that will work for this. You want to make sure that it's heavy bottomed and we'll hold at least about an inch of oil in there. I'm going to put my thermometer in there. I'm going to bring this up to 350 degrees on medium high heat. And once your oil is at 350 degrees, you can start frying your poppers. You want to carefully lower a few of these in at a time into your hot oil. Make sure it doesn't splash up on you. And you want to fry these for about two or three minutes until they are nice and golden brown. Go ahead and give them a stir and make sure they don't stick on the bottom. And after a few minutes, they should be done. Be nice and golden brown. You want to carefully lift them out of the oil and place them onto a paper towel lined plate to let all the excess oil drain off. And when you're done with the first batch, you can get the second batch started. Again, carefully lower them down into the oil. Fry them up for a good two to three minutes until they're nice and golden brown. And then you can serve them up with ranch dressing or whatever dip that you enjoy with your jalapeno poppers. And there you have it. 
how to make these delicious jalapeno poppers. Hope you guys enjoy, and thanks so much for watching.